The last video was pretty heavy because we integrated Firebase into our application, built out the UI to allow the user to log into our app, and handled a few edge cases around the login activity. This video will be a lot simpler. All we want to do is add in some menu options so we can allow the user to log out once they've logged in. What we'd like to have happen is we want to add a menu option in the top right of the posts activity, which will allow the user to navigate to their profile. And from their profile, there'll be one more menu option to allow the user to log out. Let's start by defining the menu for the posts activity. So I'm gonna go into resources and create a new Android resource directory. And the resource type will be menu. And then that'll automatically change the directory name to menu, tap on okay. And inside of this menu resource directory, we're going to create a menu resource file called menu posts. And I prefer to use this view, the design view. Here we can drag out various menu options. I'm going to drag out one menu option and the title will be profile because we want to allow the user to navigate to their profile from here. However, we don't want this to show up in what is called the overflow menu. Instead, we want this menu option to show as an action. And so there's an option here where you say so show as action and tap on always and apply. And that will bring that item out of the overflow menu and into the top level. Instead of this showing the text profile though, we want it to be an icon. So we're going to create a new icon representing the profile. So go into resources, go to new and create a new vector asset. Here, you can choose a clip art for your vector asset. And I'm going to look for something which has a person in it, which represents the profile. And I'm going to just call this IC person. And I actually want the person icon to be white. So I'm gonna go here and then the RGB for white is just FFF. And now you can see that it made the icon white and tap on finish. If you wanted to see what exactly got created, you can open up the drawable folder and look into icperson.xml. And the cool thing here is that the actual representation of this vector asset is XML. It's just some, some text which d describes the path data. So now that we have that defined, we can reference it here. The IC person. And that updated the icon. Now we want to reference menu posts inside of the posts activity. The way we'll do this is override a method. I'll say control O, and then we'll say on create options menu, method we want to override. So here we want to call menu inflator, inflate the menu resource file. So we call it r.menu.menu posts and pass in the menu. And this menu is coming in as a parameter of this method. And then we can return the super method. And finally, in order to actually take action when the user taps on that profile icon, we need to override, override one more method, which is on options menu item selected. So here, parameter item is a menu item, and this will tell us which item in the menu did the user tap on. And so what we want to do is just validate that the item ID of this item is equal to the ID that we provided from for menu posts. And I forget what did we call this ID? Oh, we didn't give an ID. We'll call this ID menu profile. And let's copy that and go back into post activity and check if the user indeed did tap on menu profile. And if they did, we want to navigate now to a brand new activity, which is the profile activity. So let's define that. I'll say new activity. And again, we want an empty activity called profile activity. We'll copy the name of that class that we just created and go back here. And we want to do something very similar to what we did in the login activity. So I'm going to create a new intent. And the first parameter is the context. The second parameter is the class name that we want to na navigate to. Now we call start activity with that intent. Let's try it. So I'm running the app. So now hopefully when this app boots up again, we should see the profile icon in the top right. 
So if I tap on it, we now go to a brand new activity called profile activity. In this profile activity, we want to have one more menu option where we can allow the user to log out. So let's go into profile activity and we're going to do something quite similar where we override the on create options menu. The menu inflator and then inflate and we need to pass in another menu resource file which we're going to define in just a second. So we're going to change this. So let's go into menu, create a new menu resource file called menu profile. Go into the design tab instead of the text, and we're going to do something similar. We're going to drag out one menu item, and because the logout is in some sense a destructive action, we do want this to be buried. We don't want this to be showing as an action, so I'm going to leave this as a default, which is to have this menu option show up in the overflow menu, and the title will be logout. I'll give this an ID of menu logout. So going back into profile activity, let's reference this menu profile. And then we want to get notified when the user taps on the logout option. So if the item, if the ID of the item selected is r.id dot menu logout, that means that they've, the user wants to log out. So let's put a tag here, which says that user wants to log out and we'll define the tag at this point we want to log the user out of our application and navigate them back to login activities so they have the option to sign in again as a different user or as the same user logging out is straightforward we just want to get an instance of firebase auth and then call this method sign out Navigating back to the login activity is also straightforward. We'll say start activity with uh, intent. And then we pass in a context and the destination, which is login activity. Let's try it. So if we open up Logcat while the app is booting up and we look for profile activity. Once we tap on logout, we should see that log statement for profile activity. So I go into the profile activity and now tap on log out. You can see here the user wants to log out. So we did get inside of this. And indeed, we do go back into login activity. And now the user has the option to log in again if they want. And this will go back into the main activity, which is post activity. In the next video, we'll learn how to query Firebase and in particular Firestore so we can get the data to show posts on this screen. If this was helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.